If you're looking for all run controller to play on the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, your Windows, your PC, your iPhones, your Android phones, this is the controller for you. This is the boy JC, and what I've got before you is a GCHD gaming controller. I'll leave the link in the description so you guys can pick this up. I, I, I took it out of the box and I fooled around with it a little bit and I can tell you right off the jump, this is a very, very good controller. Some of the features, let me point out. For one, Bluetooth 5.0. If you want the best gaming experience with little to no latency and you won't have an issue connecting to your to your PC that is that, that's upgradable to Windows 11, especially if you have Windows 11, you have to have a Bluetooth control that's 5.0 because usually sometimes you fall into little issues. So this ticks off the box. Boom, for one. Two. Or place it for this controller you can use it on the playstation 4 playstation 4 slim and playstation 4 pro all you got to do hit the home button and share and then go and set it up and you're good to go you can also use this on the playstation 5 but because it's recognized as a playstation 4 controller you only can play playstation 4 games on the playstation 5 but it will play perfectly with the playstation 5 no problem at all build quality fantastic I have average size hands it feels very comfortable in your hands you, you definitely won't feel any fatigue or you won't have any um you know sometimes you play games for a long time and you may have hands cramped up and hurt you will not experience it with this controller it's a perfect size it got dual um, vibrations right here so this it's got some good rumble rumble feature the buttons you see the design of the buttons they don't want to hit by no lawsuit by Sony, so they got to do it a little bit different. You can see how they do the X's, their circles, their squares, their triangle. I'm taking a 3D if, um, feature. That's pretty cool. D-pad, well built. Got the, you can press it. Got some click to it. That's awesome. The same thing with the joypad. Nice click. And right here, if extra, you got the extra gripping right here. So it's not smooth. And if you play a lot of games, your finger won't accidentally slide off because this, this right here is very rigid. You're gonna have to grip your thumbs. And one thing I love again, I don't ever mention it before. Most some of these controls got the little textures right here, but it's like in plastic. You feel a grip, but you will slide off. These right here are rubber. These are rubber textures right here. So so they were thinking about it. So if you play for a long time and your hands get sweaty, this rubber is gonna hold, it's gonna little hold onto the controller better and if you does a plastic texture rubber is perfect for that you got the deep you got the pad right here to do your thing on the playstation 4 games the option share the led lighting to let you know you're connected via bluetooth or by um usb type c cable that's included in the box and also not only you can use this on the playstation 4 and playstation 5 this is perfect if you got as I, like, like I mentioned earlier the windows pc either uh, Windows 7, 8, 9, 10, whatever it is. You can, you can use it on your Mac products, you know, like your MacBooks, whatever you, whatever Mac you have, it will appear perfectly fine and you can use it on there. Not only that, not only that, if you got an Android phone and your iPhone, you can use it and play your favorite games on your iPhone and your Android. Easy, trust me, this is ideal, believe you me. And like I said, it's very easy to peer. All you gotta do is the home button and share it together, and it's gonna blink, and you're good to go. So let me go onto my screen right here. Like I said, it's already paired via Bluetooth. So if I go to say to like my settings, you can use the controller to move around via things. See? Easy, no issue at all. Awesome. And also another thing to point out. If when it's connected when it's connected via Bluetooth on the top corner right here of your, of your screen, it's going to say PlayStation 4 controller. So you can use for me. I like I said, I use I use my gaming PC more than I do my PlayStation 5. And you can see in the top corner, I got a PlayStation Now app. So if you're going to play PlayStation 4 or uh, PlayStation games via PlayStation Now app, or you got Steam like this right here, on Bluetooth it will work perfectly fine. But if you are, but if you like, if you like to play a lot of games on um, Xbox Game Pass on the PC, or if you got an Xbox and you want to use it on your Xbox, 
abuse the imploded cable. I'm going to explain to you why. When you try to use, oh sorry, then I'm tripping. <laughs> when you try to use this controller, oh, no, nobody see me, friendly knows me. Ah, here we go. When you try to use this controller via Bluetooth to play anything, Xbox, Microsoft, feed, Microsoft wise, it will not recognize it. So all you gotta do, you have to make sure that it's off first. This is off, and then plug in the USB Type C cable inside of it like this. And it's gonna co and it's gonna show up in a different light. So uh, let me just um, that's pretty much it. That's all I gotta show you. And it pairs well with the iPhone, which I'm gonna sh which you're gonna see right here in the next clip. I want to first off thank my, thank my wife to let me borrow her phone so you can see if this controller will connect to the iPhone Top Pro Max via Bluetooth. So first, let me go into the pairing mode, hold on to the phone and share. And let's see right here. Oops, my phone is off. Let me um, turn it back on. All right, now we're back. All right, let's see right here. So you see right there, do a shop for a wireless controller, let me zoom in. Yep. So let me just um, hit that. And see it's paired. So this controller is paired to the iPhone 12 Pro Max. That's the benefits of having Bluetooth 5.0. Let's see, let's see what can I do. Alright. Let me see if we could find some game. Let me see if we find a game real quick and give it a try. All right, I got two apps on my wife's phone right now. I got Amazon Luna, and I got um, the Apple Arcade up and running. And I got Sonic Racing from Apple Arcade, so let's hit it. GCHT, you rock. All right, let's go. Let's see what we got. Yo, this this is perfect. No lag or nothing. Look at that. Woo! Yeah, baby. Wow, this is... Yo, this controller is buttery smooth. Wow, this is awesome. Ah, yo, this is it. This is tight. This is tight. How do you pause this thing? You're positive, let me get out of here. All right, I'm gonna show you right now. So, if I, I guarantee you, if I hit the home button right now, it's not gonna work via Bluetooth. For some reason, that's how, that's how um, Microsoft does it. So, like I said, this will work on your Xbox and the gaming laptop, but you gotta plug it in right here. So I'm gonna show you. You're gonna have a different light and you're gonna show on the screen. So I'm gonna plug it in to show you real quick. The orange light come up. So when the orange light shows up, usually show on the screen, but I guess I'm on the game. But once you see this orange light, that means yes, it, it recognizes it as an Xbox controller for the Xbox Game Pass. You see, it's good to go. Well, let me show you something right now. Let me unplug it. I disconnected, right? As you can see, I disconnected. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try to connect to it via, via, um, via Bluetooth to show you what I'm talking about. Let me go here. Let me turn on the Bluetooth. Alright, now I'm going to try to pair it via Bluetooth. Like this. Now it's connected to Bluetooth. Alright, and see right here, it says PlayStation 4 controller. So it's a PlayStation 4 controller. All right. Now let's go back into the same game. It's connected to Bluetooth. It won't recognize it at all because it's saying it's a PlayStation controller. That's the thing. So bear that in mind. You can use it on the Xbox and use it on the, on the Windows PC. But as long as you have it on Bluetooth, for some reason Windows doesn't recognize it because, like I said, it's already programmed, programmed as a PlayStation 4 controller. So it will not work at all. If this thing, if you want it to work on the PC and your um, Xbox or whatever, first of all, you got to turn it off. 
them plug it in as i'm going to demonstrate to you guys real quick one more time for the interest of time boom I turn off the bluetooth it's off you see that it's off now let's go back to forza all right well you know what i want to do something first let me do the screen right here all right now connect it boom good yeah like a chime sound that means yes i see right there see right there let me zoom in real quick xbox 360 controller you see that for yourself okay perfect now you could you know you can use it see that's what i like once it's connected you can use it to do whatever you want now you can play a game very simple right overall the gchd controller is by far the best gaming controller i've ever tested it's better than the fake playstation 5 controller and um it's better in my opinion than the e easy smx controller this is the real deal the easy smx is cool the only thing i don't like it comes with a long 2.4 gigahertz um dongle which would be good if you like that thing but if you don't mind plug if you don't mind a cord if you don't mind plugging it with a cord and play your xbox game pass games or on the xbox that's fine you can always buy a long long usb type c cord for cheap on amazon like a 10 foot key cord which you won't have any issues bluetooth playing games bluetooth wise no lag or not it works perfectly fine and like i said you could use it on the playstation 5 your playstation 4 you could even use it on steam you can use it on your iphone via bluetooth and you won't have no issue at all that's the only catch but anything for microsoft related you got to plug it in and then you're good to go that's the boy jc thank you guys for, for this um thank you guys for tuning in to the thorough thorough um review of this gaming controller if you like it very much go ahead subscribe like and share you already know the deal and also forget the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so you can connect it and listen and talk to your friends so like and share this content and don't forget to hit the super thanks to show your support thank you guys very much i love you guys god bless i'll see you in the next one